Okay, so I just got this ultrasonic cleaner and I cleaned this Goku with it. Uh, two five minute sessions with the heater on. Watch this, you guys. Watch how easy it is to pluck this arm away from the supports. Look at that. Look at that. There is like no support marks. Nothing. Look at this, guys. There's like just about none. And I mean, the ones that are there, you can just kind of pluck off. This is the easiest cleanup I've ever done. Like, look at this monstrosity of supports. I was like, oh man, it's going to be really hard to get it off. Watch this. You just start peeling right at the edges. And as soon as you get it started, it's like, eh, we're just going to come right off. A little more difficult for me to show at that angle, but I mean, look at that. Look, look at all that chunk that just came off of that guy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss these supports, and, and you can see here there's very little to none left. I mean, they're, they're, they come off almost with wiping. I'm guessing with another five minute bath, it would have just straight up come off. I mean, there's very slight divots you can see there on the side. Very slight. I mean, absolutely nothing like what you would normally get. I mean, they're just wiping away, basically. I mean, sure, there could be a slight bit of sanding. Very slight. But I am super impressed with this sonic cleaning. I mean that's incredible and I mean I'll do a little bit of cleanup here and then I'll uh, record that as well to see what the what it looks like and then I'm going to show you the the sonic cleaner as well so this here is the sonic cleaner it's a uh, central machinery this is at Harbor Freight you guys this is like 80 bucks at Harbor Freight comes with a little lid you stick the lid on super cool um, I have it set up in my bathroom right now just because there's ventilation in here and you can have the temperature controller on or that's off that's on tell it to set the LCD is not the easiest thing to read you got 90 180 280 380 and 480 and then you just hit on and it's good to go uh, the reason it's green is because I've been using uh, something that I've seen Uncle Jesse use it's called mean green cleaner let me grab it out here real quick have some super strength mean green cleaner degreaser I, I swear this stuff cleans it better than IPA and then you can see here there's really no clouding of the parts like at all I am I'm just shocked on this so yeah 80 bucks Harbor Freight uh, this whole jug is like five dollars grab that and you will have pretty much support, no support lines, like, anywhere. I mean, look at those hands. Look at those hands. I don't see any support marks. I mean, we can we can flip this guy back over. And, I mean, there's a little bit of divots there. A little bit. I'll try to focus in on them. But honestly, what is that? A minute with a sanding thing? So, yeah, definitely uh, grab this thing. It is absolutely amazing. All right, so here's my Wonder Woman bust uh, that is busted because I ran out of resin. Um, but you can still see that uh, most of the supports are still attached to it. So I'm just going to show you how this Sonic Cleaner here actually works pretty well. I'll go ahead and... All right, so it's currently off. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. As you can see, the print isn't completely submerged by the liquid. Um, it's not quite at its max line either. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit more in there and then we'll get this guy ready to go. All right, cool, totally submerged. We're at that almost the max line. So this has a temperature setting. You go ahead and turn on the temperature. The red light will come on. And then you can go ahead 
and hit set. So the first one is going to be 180, 280, 380, 480. Yeah, the LCD sucks on this. And then there's like a 90 second one. I usually do 480. And then just go ahead and close your arm in, turn it on, and let it run. All right, so we're all done. You can see that it steamed up a little bit because of the heat. We have our part hiding in there. And we're gonna go ahead and pull her out. It's nice and warm. And we'll go ahead and shake it off a little bit. And you can see it's still kind of wet. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it on over here. I'll try and get some close-ups here of what we're doing. So you can see that the supports are still attached, but just barely. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to take off those supports. So remember, I just got this right out of the bath. Like butter. I mean, there's those ones that are stuck on the inside, but that's easy enough to just wiggle off. But you can see there's almost zero divots. I mean, you can see a little bit here on the bust part, the bottom part, and these things just came off like nothing. Um, so the, I created these supports using Prusa Slicer, and just the default settings and then send it over to Cheetu Box to be sliced and that was it. These might be a little difficult to get out of there. I'll pluck them out with some tweezers later. Um, but yeah, I even tried using the Prusa Slicer supports with a different model and they did not come off as easy as it was after using this Sonic Cleaner. I mean, like I said, there's going to be a few divots, but nothing crazy like you would normally get so I'm gonna let this go ahead and dry out and then you can actually see a model that I used the other day couldn't even tell where the supports are at on this guy or girl it's that good so here's a miniature version that I did with supports now using this Sonic Cleaner, I'm using Mean Green Solution, and it seems to work way better than IPA, it doesn't add any clouding, and it doesn't smell horribly. So yeah, that's the setup right there. You got the uh, Sonic Cleaner from Harbor Freight, got the Mean Green Super Strength Cleaner Degreaser. Um, all I do is I just pour it in straight, fill it up to where it covers it. Um, it does have a little basket in there, I guess, if you wanted to put some strings on or something to help pull it up. You've got a lot of small parts, but I don't even bother. And then just go ahead, keep the lid on, so that way your solution doesn't evaporate. I don't know if it evaporates as much as IPA does, but you know, this whole jug was $5 compared to using an IPA bottle that this thing was like seven dollars so I think I found my new solution for support removal and cleaning and again I've had no issues like I said um, this little figurine is fully cured with zero issues I'm like, why can I not focus on it there we go yeah zero issues real nice so if you guys are looking for an easier way to uh, do the work and clean it up I highly suggest Sonic Cleaner Main Green Solution um, if you can't get Main Green I've tried Simple Green Simple Green works just as well uh, it's just a little more expensive it's like nine dollars a bottle but yeah compared to IPA which is smelly smelly not smelly works wonderfully All right, so here it is in the printer. Support structures, all that, and the vat of goop. So 
we'll take it out and we'll clean it up. All right, so here it is, all printed up. You can see all the supports and holes and arms and everything that goes with it. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in my Sonic Cleaner. It's a new addition for me. Actually helps clean up things super easy. Kind of messy, a little bit. That's why you uh, wear the gloves. So, I'm going to go ahead and stick it in here. And um, for some reason, it doesn't want to sink. That's okay. We'll rotate it on the second clean. So, go ahead and turn this bad boy on. And we'll get them all cleaned up. Set the temperature on. Set it for five minutes. There we go. All right, so here we have the base Hydra with all these supports and everything on it. Um, so it's in this vat of liquid and I just had it sonically clean itself. So let's see how easy it is. Oh yeah, look at that. Sports just come off like butter. Like no issue getting these things off. They're just pulling right off. I mean, that's just coming right off there, um, which makes this a lot easier to clean up the print. Of course, you got to be careful with brittle areas, but other than that, I mean, I just took off all those supports like nothing, and there's minimal, if any, at all support markings on this print which is great. So now, I'll just go ahead and give it a rinse in water. And we'll go ahead and let that dry out. And yeah, should be really cool.